I'm waiting, Cloud. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... I the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sector 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... Uh, the fall of the Sector 7 flight... Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. I found another reactor blew up, which must have been caused zero, by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see... Oh, over there! Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one suspect oh, right. unaccounted for. Ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Huh? Back over here! Get him on board! Prep for takeoff! The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble! <laughs> Quick, get the camera off him! Come on, this way. Contact the SAR team. Targets have been secured. We are expelling via Hilo now. Move it. We're taking off. What? Hey, turn that off. The, the survivors are being taken away. I can't hear them already. You just don't know when that way, do you? Excuse me, could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako, but he'll be fine. <laughs> hey!
right, here we go. This whole playthrough should be in hard mode. I've already beaten the game. I'm already max level. I have all the material maxed out already that I can get in first playthrough. So now I'm trying to see. I'm trying to go for 100% completion. So I'm trying to get the last of the stuff in hard mode. Which is a lot. So. Get away from her! Let's He's got a buster sword! Terrorist! You're Where's the Ancient? Heads are gonna roll if we don't find her! Just shut the hell up and search! This is so messed up. All of it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. Seeing as we've got the time, want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's cool. It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then, and what little there was, was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came up. A mission with Sephiroth. <laughs> I couldn't believe my luck. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. I wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. Huh. 
Hey, rein it in. Sorry. No can do. Kids. Say, I'd like to be briefed on the mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Wu Tai, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. <sighs> Ugh, fine. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. <sighs> Got some fiends at Arch Well! Let's go. You take one, I'll take the other. Wait in the truck. No way! I got this! <laughs> I'm gonna try not to talk in the cutscenes. Just cause, uh... I've already... I've already, uh... One, so you guys can hear and, one, and the others because I've already played this, like I said earlier. Watch and learn. So I don't want to, uh... I don't want to ruin anything or spoil anything. He was in a different league from the rest of us. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. Home sweet home, right? Tell me. How does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh... You still got parents though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father... Whoa there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm getting to that. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, 
welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. Means I can do what I want. What I want to know is, can I use? No. Okay, so this is going to be probably exactly like the first one. Why, I almost didn't recognize you in that uniform I mean, They still yours. sell me items, You've but I can't use so anything. Much since the last time we saw you. Oh, oh you okay, because material's here too. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> if you did, I'm sorry to tell you that she's not home at the moment. The least you could do is say hello to us. As if we're strangers. There's no need to be so standoffish. What are you talking to? Oh. So, what do you think of our village? Pretty nice, right? So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess. After two years away and all that. Uh huh. So if I remember correctly, that means if he's 16 currently, he signed up for soldier at 14. When I grow up, they allow I... kids to sign up that early? For that young? Just like Sephiroth. No, I can go back to hanging to my laundry outside without Huh? You went to my place? I figured you might be there. straight to the room you went into my room I did did you actually play it No way. I just noticed. Hold on. Do you guys see that right there? The poster, make a splash on your vacation. If anyone's played Final Fantasy VIII, doesn't that look like Zell? Because he has a dolphin. I think it's called Dolphin Blow or Dolphin Punch. That looks a lot like him. Anyways. Wow, where'd you learn to do that? Hey, you gotta play for us sometime. Well, shit, you're a merc of many talents. I'm not gonna go through Tifa's crap because I don't want to piss her off. That sword's huge. Then I stopped by my mom's. Can I touch it? Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. My dad died when I was a kid, so after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time, and last. Hmm? I'll be right there! <sighs> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my. So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. 
I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be... Okay, that's enough. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but... It's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, huh? <laughs> Bet most of them had to do with you. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Hmm. Hmm. A soldier. And you are? Richard Sangan. A humble traveler of the world. And teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. Well-toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. Didn't really notice at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right, we'll do. Night. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited, too nervous. Was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> we leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir. <sighs> I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't... Dad! Tifa. You can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin! 
Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? <sighs> Please, Sephiroth. It'd mean a lot to us. <sighs> it's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? <sighs> um, there? Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah, I guess we were. Later. For a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. A little weird. You probably already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time, but none with such a breathtaking view. Who could tire of it? Everyone, eventually. <laughs> Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. <laughs> trips? I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. So, uh, it's a little weird playing without any music in the background. Like, you guys will probably hear music after I, uh, edit the video, but right now there's, it's just, you just hear footsteps. That's about it. Nothing else. Everything okay? Not going too fast for you, am I? Of course not. We're just trying to pace ourselves, is all. But I thought you guys were in a hurry. Even so, you'll burn yourself out running like that. I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. Huh. Guess you really are the best there is. Shh. Seen those near the village, and they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. Then they're all yours. Copy that. It's on now. So much easier than I have all my stuff. That was awesome. You think? If this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I don't know exactly how I'm going to edit this all down because I still want people to be intrigued and tune in. So. All yours. You know what to do, pal. <laughs> Gotta say, that one felt pretty good. Shh. Tifa just zoomed in. Is that Mako? Whoa. Soldier, you can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. <laughs> Piece of cake.
Why is Tifa following me? She's the guide. Take it away. Bye. Yes. Well done, Trooper. Thank you. I got the rest. See ya. We still have a long way to go. Okay. So the fights are not obviously they're not challenging hey, right now. Not um, that way. I'm just curious to see how it'll. It's a dead end. Rockslide took out the bridge a while ago. Come on back, okay? Okay. Curious to see how it's gonna be once I get to the, the obviously the harder level. Yes. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Gotta make a detour through a Shinra facility. To think I almost made you our guide. Good thing I reconsidered. Otherwise, you'd have led us straight off a cliff. <laughs> Lead on. Oh, if you would have jumped off. Yes! Like how they get, they're giving me potions and stuff, knowing damn well I can't use any of it. Piece of cake. Vision blocking is so underrated. I keep forgetting about. Oh, probably gonna be a potion or something. Yeah, pre uh, precise blocking or perfect blocking is so amazing. And I didn't realize until just recently that there's a materia. That wait, can I just jump over this? Oh, I can. Uh, that if you precise block, it also gives you ward, which means that like say that you. If the reactor may have been around for a while. But there are still pockets of Mako gas all over the mountain. Try not to breathe it in if you can. Don't want to get Mako poisoning. Say that something has, like if it were to hit you, it gives you, it turns you to stone, it petrifies you. If you have that, then um, if you perfect block, I mean, uh, it won't uh, turn you to stone. Gas levels reduced by 20%. Marco gas levels reduced by 70%. No Marco gas detected. Elevator access granted. I'm kind of curious to see how the bosses are going to fight now, too, because on, on the first one, on remake, uh, hard mode, the bosses had different fighting styles. So I'm kind of curious to see how it's going to go here. Oh. Come on. Just thinking about crossing that thing. Then let me go first. Hey, I'm the guide here. Keep up! 
Are you okay? Not really. What are you? Sephiroth's face just says like damn I can't believe I, I let that happen shows that he was a good guy like he actually gave a shit he's in fate's hands now do you know the way yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well, we certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. He said I'm keeping tabs. <sighs> uh, more Mako gas ahead. <clears throat> There's no way around it either. Just have to go through. Let's not waste any time. Mako, this thick is dangerous. You're in good hands. Yeah. Come on. Die. Let's hurry. A Mako spring. It's beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Hmm. To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic, for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo, from Research and Development. His predecessor was a great man, but him... He is anything but... <laughs> we should press on.
Heads up. Die. See ya. Well, that's that. Every time I see somebody, uh, walk like this or I don't know what it's called uh sh I guess shimmy <laughs> it reminds me of um he linked to the or uh, Wind Waker reminds me of Wind Waker Get back. Uh, this way. You said you wanted to be a hero. Wish I hadn't. It thinks we're after materia. Someone should tell it we're not. <laughs> be my guest. Mix it up a little. It's on now. Try this. Not doing so great. Rookies. Stand back. On me. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Sephiroth. Pretty mobile. Till we knock it down. Good thing I don't just fight with a sword. We fight as a team. Try this. Let's finish this. Sephiroth. You're in good Take hands. Take the lead. I won't let you down. It's all you. Stand back. Sephiroth, take the lead. Get back. For you. <laughs> 
You're practically panting. I'm excited. <laughs> Such a puppy. Don't like the looks of this. Stay alert. yourself open. <laughs> Might want to steer clear of the gas. Bye. <laughs> Got ya. Take it from here. Nice work. <laughs> okay, hold up. Maybe I'm missing something here. But everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil. Trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. You wait out here, Tifa. No way! I want to go too. Please? Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Keep the young lady safe. Carry on. Ah! <sighs> you better keep me safe. I didn't expect it to be all systems go. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output, like most last-gen models. Then let me guess. Pillagers don't have a clue about this. Knowing Shinra? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. As he's already talking to the whole crew about this entire mission. Shh. Perhaps you'd like to say a few words to your sword first? Joe, 
You are really something. What are those things? Genova? Wasn't that... The malfunction must be forcing the pods to depressurize. Cloud. Go out and shut off the valve. Copy. What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators. Cages for animals. Infused with Mako. All to birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals. Oh, no. There were other subjects. Look. Genova. Could it be that I was created the same way? Am I the same as these monsters? Sephiroth. Ever since I was a child, I knew. I knew that I was different. That I was special. But not like this. Not like this. <laughs> Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going.
Here's where things start to pick up. I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. One way to look at it, sure. He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to Mako? Then we ought to bring him some medicine. I saw him headed toward the mansion. Sephiroth wasn't looking so hot when he passed by. Hope everything's okay. Shinra Manor was the biggest building in town. And older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or something? What if he's sick and needs our help? Him? A little Mako poisoning isn't gonna hurt a living legend. Took a look around the place, but... Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. Never knew it had a basement. Was news to me too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. Here he is. Excavated from a 2,000 year old rock layer. A life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. MEGL 77 1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh. MEGL 913 1977. Genova Project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. And that was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading and reading, like a man possessed. Got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. An ancient. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. come across the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name. And so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect 
the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gast's wondrous experiment. He created you? I should go. Mother is waiting. Hey! Hey! Hold on! keep asking myself, why couldn't I have come to sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. What? Here we go. Hey, you! Get in there! The villagers need your help! Please. Did this? Oh, it was him, all right. And he's still here. So keep your eyes peeled. God. Get your head straight. I need you to secure the way out. Now. Y yes, sir. Sephiroth? But he... Why would he... I don't know why. But playing this part specifically, without any music in the background, just makes it feel a little bit more Im immersed. Hold on, Mom. I'm coming. Is this? Am I gonna die? Almost there. with the Final Fantasy Remake series. All the, fo the forced slow action movement stuff. 
Please. Please be okay. Sefa. Wrath. Mom. <sighs> Mom. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. Hey! Hey! Hang in there! You're gonna be okay! Don't worry. I got you. Come on, let's get you up. of a bitch! That's far enough! Drop the sword! Wait for me. I'm coming. I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Dad and I had gone there to hide. When Sephiroth showed up, Dad decided that he was going to confront him. It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? <laughs> Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this!
Mother, I have come for you. Now, open the way for me. You murdered my dad! You burned my village! You'd save me if I was ever trapped or in trouble. Here I am, your son. Mother, together we will reclaim our world, and I know exactly how we can do that. The Promised Land. Sephiroth! <laughs> Mother, they have come again. The ones who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever. You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. My village. My home. <laughs> they were mine by right. This planet too. For I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! And that's the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... Screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. 
Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as around. But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what. Because he wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright and rule over the planet with Genova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but it's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Let me take a look. Mm. Ah! Wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. <sighs> yeah. Let's just call it a night. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? <sighs> uh, oh, no, you don't. That bed's mine. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Hey, Aerith? You awake? Barely. Why? Was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did, at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or... Maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Cloud, you up? Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh... It's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. Alrighty. killed her. So, who is she? Or rather, what is she? I know I'm not doing a lot of talking in this video, guys, but the first chapter is essentially, it's, it's, 
80% cutscenes and I'm trying not to talk over them. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway. There's something I need to ask you too. Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him, though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years! You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. I should have... Since I know where all the cutscenes are at, or most of the cutscenes are at, I should probably just have it on, uh... We could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. What I don't understand is... I don't see how Tifa randomly is acting now like we didn't just spend the entire first game together and Cloud didn't just spend the entire time saving her. Not just saving her, but like by her side and joining Avalanche and doing what he could for Midgar and all this other stuff. And she's just kind of like, man. You two fight. No. We have enough problems as it is. Copy. Night. Tomorrow is another day. Alright, and I think I'm going to end the video there. Uh, like I said, I know I didn't do too much talking in this video because I knew that there was going to be a bunch of cutscenes going on here. But I'm going to do my best to go ahead and give a little bit more of my input and have more to say on the next follow-up videos. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully I can get through this on hard mode. And until then, peace out.